Well, this is a special place that's been created and it's there to recognise the sacrifice of those who've actually donated their organs over the years, but also those who have been the beneficiaries and have received organs. And it's a space that's been created as a national memorial that allows individuals to come in to reflect their own experience of their own family's experience around organ transplantation in Scotland. And in that sense, it's a a very special environment has been created and the artists have worked with the families who have been affected by organ transplantation to come up with a, an area that reflects what they would like to see uh, being part of the National Memorial and this uh, place is a very special environment that's now being created which I've got no doubt uh, many people want to visit in the coming years. But three years ago I joined the Scottish Donation and Transplant Group and a little subcommittee was formed to work with Alec and his team. I mean, I think what he's created here is a very special place to remember very special people, but it, it's very tranquil and peaceful. It's a lovely little glade that anyone would want to come and sit and, and think in. And the memorial itself, the, the words that are involved, the, the natural stone, he, Alex thought very carefully about the different relationships that we have, the intertwined relationships between donors and recipients. And he's, he's got symbols of that in, in the design, it's, it's, but it's just ended up being a very nice place to be. We tried to make a space which was open, not closed down. It didn't have some big central sculpture that dominated. And I call it the wilding garden. And then this is the tie, which just means house. But actually hidden from view, underneath it all is a wooden kist, which contains a book in which I hand wrote the name of everyone that had donated an organ, so as a memorial. So when people come here, actually half of the work is, is hidden. But I hope that the story will gradually be shared and there's a sign and also a book. So the idea is that not everything is here in front of you. There's something more than that. Well, we've made a tremendous amount of progress in recent years in increasing the number of organ donations in Scotland. And it's also right that we should also reflect on the fact that there are also many tragedies linked to that from individuals who may have lost their life, whose organs have then actually been donated, that recipients have been able to benefit from. And creating a national memorial like this in this type of space, I think, is extremely important so that we recognise that, so that those families who have been affected by the tragedy of a, a loss of a loved one whose organs have benefited someone else, that they've got a place that they can come and they can actually reflect on that. But equally also those who have benefited from an organ donation can come and actually uh, reflect on the fact that there were other individuals uh, who donated their organs to them. And that's why I think both uh, those who benefited from organ donation and also those who donated their organs will be able to benefit from this therapeutic environment.